Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never duplicate. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric C. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So as you can see, I started a process of stripping down the Kelly, Jackson Kelly body. And from what the seller says, this is a 2010 Jackson JS 30 Kelly. Now, I know it is because of the body shape as far as the year goes. Well, that's up for grabs because I don't have a serial number or a neck to basically tell me what year this body is. But... One of the things that I've noticed with a lot of uh, guitar manufacturers, brand names like Epiphone and so on, they're doing a thing where they're putting a veneer top on top of whatever the body is made out of and painting over it for some reason. Now, this one is no different than the Epiphone that I ended up making, the Trooper Epiphone. Uh, there was a veneer on the top of that body as well, but it was painted red to begin with. Now. This veneer doesn't look all that great. I mean, you can see it right here and right here. It's got some wood, wood graining inside of it, but that's about it. Not really, you know, too fancy or like a flame maple or anything else. All over here is sanding sealer that I haven't sanded off yet, but you can still see some of the lines inside of it from, you know, the veneer that's on top of it. Here and a little bit over here is mahogany. Now, when I started sanding through the top layer of flat black, underneath that was another layer of black. It wasn't blue like I thought it was, like I saw inside here. It wasn't blue. It was black. And it was a different shade of black, but it still was black, nonetheless. My question is, is okay, if this was painted black from the factory, probably a gloss black, not a flat black like the guy who uh, sold this to me painted it, um, why put a veneer on it, you know? Why go through that extra step of putting a veneer on something that uh, you know you're going to paint over later on down the line in the assembly? So that's kind of a little bit strange, you know? Plus, the mahogany done upright looks a hell of a lot better than what this veneer does so yeah that's a kind of a good question so i'm gonna get back to stripping this thing down because i have to take this down uh maybe not so, uh quite eighth of an inch but i gotta take it down a little bit i'm gonna do it by sanding it and sanding it nice and even so i'm getting back to work so again on the back with the veneer huh there's nothing on the sides but it sure is on the back, and there was nothing over here as far as a veneer goes. Hmm, interesting. Why do they waste their time doing this? So I've got this thing pretty much right where I want it now. I left the black, a little bit of the black on the sides over here because they're going to be painted black again, but I have another plan for the rest of it. I sanded this all the way down. I've got a little bit of Bondo over here that uh, I got somebody else put there. Not a big deal. I got all my edges done the way that they were from the factory cut. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go paint, put a little bit of paint on this, let that dry, then sand the top and sand the back to get whatever paint I don't want on uh, this surface and the back surface off. And then I'm going to go to the next step. All right, be right back. So all the sanding is done. I got the back, just like the front, and the sides, and these edges over here are painted black, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is seal the body. And this is mahogany, so the problem with it is if I pour epoxy on top of it, there's going to be a lot of bubbling coming up because there's a lot of pores in mahogany. So what I have to do is put a very, very thin skim coat on top of this, and it's going to really make this mahogany pop up a little bit as far as the figuring and, and grain and everything else goes uh, of what this looks like. But that's not going to be the final thing. The final thing is going to be later on, and I'm going to say what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start to apply the sealer, which is, again, epoxy. So instead of using like a sanding sealer, I'm going to use the epoxy to fill in all the grain and to close up any pores 
so no bubbles will end up coming through here when I start to do the final pouring on this. I gotta seal the sides as well, but right now I'm gonna get this top. And this is just gonna be very thin, not thick at all. Can already see some bubbles coming through. Now I'm using is one of those foam paint brushes to do this. I could spray this with a sanding sealer, but I really don't care for them. This works just as good. See how it makes the mahogany pop out? It's got a nice mahogany figure on here, but it's got too many pieces of wood to kind of use this as a finish or a top on there. Now I filled the holes with CA glue, found a little bit of a imperfection in the wood right here, and I end up filling that. Gotta kind of work fast with the epoxy because it wants to start curing pretty quick. Now I'm not going to fill in the neck pocket. Still got the neck coming, it's on its way.
Alright. And like I said, there's going to be some bubbles coming through. there so that's it and I'm gonna let this sit up overnight it'll probably be a little tacky in the morning but as you can see it really brought out that mahogany really nice but this is not what I'm gonna be doing with this guitar this is just a seal for the wood <laughs> 